this last one and it's probably the most important one I am going to tell you today Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can see more of me because I love you guys. Today, I want to talk to you guys about what your hairstylist wants you to know. There's quite a few. One of the things we want you guys to know is to not compare us to other stylists. We're not your last stylist. I've had many clients while they're in my chair and say stuff like, well, that's not my what my last stylist did. I mean, yeah, I'm not your last stylist. We are open to suggestions of what you like and what you don't like. We're willing to work with you kind of on what style you would like to obtain. And back to that point, I've had a few people get mad at me because my haircut wasn't exactly like their last stylist. It is okay to kind of tell us like what they did like last time, but don't get upset if it's not exactly how your last stylist did it. Another thing we want you guys to know is that pictures actually do help. We like when you bring in pictures to show us. It helps us kind of get an idea of the kind of style that you're looking for, it's true what they say, a picture is worth a thousand words and sometimes I've had some people try to explain to me exactly what they want and it's kind of confusing but then once they show me a picture I get a better idea of what they're going for. So I'd say that pictures help. But also on the flip side of that, when you do bring in a picture, I would recommend that you kind of know what you like about it. Like if you are getting highlights, if you like the color of the highlights, or if you like more of the density, how there's more light than dark or more dark than light. Just realize that the pictures, they're a starting off point and they are something to kind of get the conversation going on what you would really like with your style. Don't expect it to come out exactly like the pictures that you do show us. Because a lot of the time, those pictures, they are edited, they're altered, they have a filter on them. So you're not getting the true authentic style or color. There are many other factors that go along into that of why your hair might not turn out exactly like that picture that you may have showed us. One of the reasons is the texture of your hair is different. You may have a different starting out level than the person in the picture. Um, medications might change it or products you're using may change the outcome of that box dye. Your stylist might use a different technique than the person did before. There's just a lot of different factors. We're not the ones that typically did that picture. Don't have unrealistic expectations. Like I was saying before, social media really edits and alters and a lot of the things on there aren't necessarily true um, according to hair. And I'll tell you right now, you're not going to go from black to platinum blonde in one sitting. It's just not realistic. When you see the celebrities do it, that is because they have people assigned to their hair, doing their hair every single day, trained professionals, and even then, it takes multiple settings. It just doesn't happen in one day. Because if you think about it, you're starting from a level one, going all the way to a level 10. That is a lot of different levels and a lot of different stages that has to happen before you can get that achieved look. Especially if you use box dye, then it really might not be doable. Not saying that it won't be, but there's a higher chance because a lot of the box dyes that you see, they have metallic salts in them that can counteract with the lightener or color and literally melt the hair off of your head. Like melt it off. It's kind of crazy is be honest 
be honest to your stylist, tell them if you have used box dye, tell them what products you're using, um, when was the last time you got your hair done, all of those very, very important questions. The reason for these is so that your stylist knows what they're working with. So that if you do have any of those things, so that they can make a formula, they can make a game plan for your hair to help preserve it and to keep it healthy. And most stylists, if they do have any concern for your hair, that your hair might not withstand lightener or whatever the case may be, they will do a test strand. So they take just a small part of hair, they will put lightener on it, they'll wait like 20 minutes or so, however long, and then they'll see what your hair did, how it lifted, if it's gonna be healthy. It's not only important to be honest about what you have on your hair, but how you're liking your hair. If you're in the middle of it and you can already kind of tell you're not gonna like the tone they're going with, let us know so that we can fix it right then and there. I understand that sometimes you have to go home, you gotta live in it to see if you really will like it or not. I know that's happened to me, but typically you know within the first like day or two whether or not you're gonna like it. And if you don't, go ahead and call your stylist and most of the time we will be willing to kind of fit you in and fix that for you. On the flip side of that, if you do have black hair and you are trying to go platinum and you call two days later saying you want it to be lighter, well, that was discussed during consultation and that was known that you're not gonna reach that at that precise time. And so at that point, you would have to come in for another service and get that relightened. This next one is a little tricky. It is price. And I don't wanna offend anybody. I don't wanna make people feel bad, but stylists have a set price or a starting price to their services that is subject to change due to if they have to mix more color or if you might need to get like a deep conditioning treatment or they may need to add a haircut to that also getting your hair done is a luxury and everybody has money problems now and again that is totally understandable maybe that time you go into the salon you can't get your full head of highlights you can work with your stylist and they will probably have a recommendation of something you could do to make it so you don't come into the salon as much like for example a balayage a balayage you can leave for quite a few months let it kind of grow out you don't have to come back in every four weeks to get that full head of highlights this next one is about tips. Stylists love tips. And we don't just mean cash tips. I have a client who he comes in and every time he brings me a newspaper clipping of something that he saw that week or that past two weeks that he really liked and that he thought he should share. Or other people, they just bring me a coffee or they bring me food when they come into my chair because they realize I don't always have time to eat. Or it could be a card or anything to show your appreciation towards them. But not only that, I know quite a few stylists who live off of their tips, especially in chain salons. They're paid less than minimum wage more often than not. And so their tips are their livelihood. And again, money can be tight. Totally understand that. So I'm not saying you have to tip them every single time, but I do think it is kind of a good habit to get into. Next thing I wanna talk about is the difference between a trim and a haircut. They're basically the same thing. They're the same price. The only difference between a trim and a haircut is the length that you're actually taking off. Also, you're paying us for our education and our training, not the amount of time it takes. So the longer someone has been in this profession, the more efficient they'll be, the faster they'll be. This last one, and it's probably the most important one I am going to tell you today. 
So are you listening? Be kind. Be kind to your stylist. Not only be kind, but be on time. I know that that's pretty typical that you should be on time, but it's extra important in the salon because stylists typically book their day very strategically. And so if you're even five minutes late, it'll push back all of those appointments for the entire day, forcing them to stay late or not have enough time for another client. So all in all, just be nice to us and we'll be nice to you. If you like this video, if you thought it helped, go ahead and like it, subscribe. We'll have a lot of fun together. I don't know what I'm saying because I'm uncorded on the camera. So, <laughs> I thought you said you were gonna be quiet. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to stop and you would start it up <laughs> right super fast. Uh, this will go in the bloopers. <laughs> How about that? Why? <laughs> uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. If you are black hair, not black race oh my gosh they have metallic salts in them that the bleh. it's i shouldn't be i shouldn't pay as much so i actually have real issues with this sometimes i can't record right now because of the train it's so loud we live right next to the trucks so, you hear it all the time. My daughter loves it though. She loves the train. So, it's good for her, but not for recording. I don't want y'all to hear the train all the time.